Dragon Serpents. It's going to be a cool series. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's going to be How to Tame an Anaconda. Um, this is going to be for a yellow anaconda. We just recently got her. It was an excruciating like nine month wait to find this animal. But like it was difficult because we were specifically one uh, baby. So we were able to have the proper time to tame her. And uh, yeah, it should be cool. I think I'm not sure exactly how often I'm going to update you guys, maybe every three months or basically whenever I feel like it's appropriate for me to uh, make a new video to show her progress. She'll probably tame very quickly, but I mean, like, as I've had, I've tamed many snakes, I've had a good amount of snakes, at least 10 snakes. And every time you tame a snake, like, yeah, they might tolerate me more. And, you know, I could touch it on the head or the face, and they're not going to bite, and we, we're seeing 100% cool. But as time goes on, like three more months, six more months, etc., etc., their behavior towards you changes, and I feel like it's, it's kind of a special thing, and I kind of want to show you that with you guys. So, uh, appreciate it. <laughs> so we got, uh, we decided to go... Go big or go home, we got a female yellow anaconda. She is currently three weeks old. Or is she four weeks old now? She might be four weeks old now. I guess she'd be four weeks old now. As of now. She's had like three sheds and three meals. So we'll go in there really gently with her. Pick her up. We don't want to intimidate her. We don't want to do anything too quickly. We're just going to go be real gentle with her. And we... Well, I don't know if you want to be right there. Because we don't want things like over top of her. Mm -hmm. Snakes don't like... Um, anything that's usually over the top of them, they feel as a predator. So anything like me, she's probably worried about me. That's why another reason why I have front opening enclosures. Snakes do not like it when you're above them, especially have you have like a, an aquarium, which we don't have <laughs> anymore. Um, they definitely feel intimidated when you like pop the top of the enclosure, the screen top, and she's got good coloration. I think it changes over time. We're gonna find out. That's the beautiful thing about having a new animal. Just learning, learning all about the animal. Figuring out their mannerisms, because not all snakes are the same. And uh, when I first got her, I got her uh, last Tuesday. And uh, I got her shipped, I got overnight shipping. And uh, took her out of the bed, or I'll start her back up a little bit. That morning, she shipped at like 3 a.m. And then they took a flight, so she was on a plane. And then um, I got her you know, earlier that morning, around 9 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I took her out of the bag, <clears throat> and she bit me twice in the hand. Just really lightly. She's scared. I understood, you know. And then, uh, as I was holding her in hand, like, inspecting and looking at her, she looked healthy and everything. She was just super intimidated, and then she struck at my face. She was in a deep shed all at the same time. Yeah, she was blind. And I 100% understand where she was coming from. She had no idea who I was. She just got shipped. I was on an airplane. Like, just total defense mode. So, but ever since then, I've picked her up. She has, it's been a week. I've handled her because, you know, I let her have a couple of days. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I was going to go to grab her and then you did that. And I was like, oh. I was already grabbing her. My bad. <laughs> I 
But ever since then, she's been, uh, she's been sweet so far. No striking. She'll, uh, like, I'm sure you could see it in the beginning as when we, like, went in her enclosure and picked her up. She breathes a little hard. She's stressed. She's scared. It's, in, it's understandable. Um... Like I said, like that behavior is going to change as time goes on. I don't know if it's going to be in two weeks or, you know, three months or... I'm sure it won't take very much time, but all this behavior is going to change and her demeanor towards me is going to keep progressing and it's going to become something amazing. And I want to show this with you guys because I've never seen a, a series uh, that shows the progress of um, an animal being tamed. I think it would be interesting to see. She likes the fish. Or she likes <laughs> wants the water. The object. <laughs> Let me just get in that fish tank. Oh no, no, it's a female. So uh, you're gonna have to do the voice. Oh. Okay. So, at the same time with me um, doing this series, I'm also going to tell you all of my different tricks. I have another video called How to Tame a Snake on YouTube. Um, I do a pretty good job. I, this is definitely towards like the first handful of my YouTube videos. And I've certainly learned more techniques since then and I will go over all of my techniques. She's pretty. Yeah, people say uh, that anacondas, I'm not sure if it's just yellows or greens or whatever, but they say that anacondas like look like they're fine, all of a sudden, bam, they'll like, strike to the left or the right, and they don't like get into the S formation, they just nail me, like she could totally nail me in the arm. I haven't seen that from her or anybody else, but people have talked about it. We'll see if that actually happens. <laughs> yeah, she's such a small snake, I don't feel like it's necessary for me to use a little mini snake hook or uh, any gloves or anything. She's pretty mellow. And small. <laughs> But um, I, I actually, I do manufacture snake hooks since I've uh, made that how to sn tame a snake video, surprisingly. <laughs> I'll show that in another video. But those are mainly for larger snakes that definitely wouldn't work on this one. Mainly for like going out and uh, doing some herping. field, some herping, all the field work and stuff. Yeah, um, looking at her, she's not breathing hard. I definitely look like, because her lungs are usually within this section of pretty much any snake. She's not breathing hard. She doesn't look scared. She just looks curious. That's good. Her behavior's excellent, honestly. It's better than I expected. <clears throat> I'm not trying to force her to do anything she doesn't want to do. I'm just trying to be really gentle and with anything, just persuade. Make sure she's out of trouble because snakes love getting into trouble. It doesn't matter how old they are. They just love getting into trouble. They don't even know they're in trouble. It's like watching a kid. Oh, didn't know I couldn't fit in that hole. <laughs> you don't do that. That's the story of my life, my retic. Which, if you've seen any of my other videos, he's now, I think, just shy of 10 feet. And he's just as sweet as ever. So as a baby, I would recommend that you don't handle them for long sessions. 
Uh, one thing that I didn't touch base fully on is one thing that is kind of important. On your new animal, your new snake, uh, let's say for the first two weeks, um, I will have her out for about 15 minutes. We'll start small. You definitely want to check on your snake's mannerisms, see if they're breathing heavy. If they look intimidated and stressed, you don't want to stress them out. Like, once again, that's a bad experience for them, and you don't want that. So keep it small and keep creating a good environment for them. They feel like when they're out that they're having a good experience. But yeah, 15 minutes for, you know, I'm hypothetically about two weeks. Not saying that's exactly what you need to do. And then as time goes on or whenever you think they can handle longer sessions, but they might be able to do that well, you know, immediately. I, I don't know, like it all depends on your particular animal. That's why you need to make sure that you are uh, looking at their mannerisms and seeing if they're, um, if they're scared or intimidated or trying to get away from you, breathing heavy. Those are usually the best signs. And then, you know, you can move on to 30 minutes and, and so on and so forth. 45 minutes and an hour. Like, you're going to have to judge that on your own. Like, don't lie to yourself if this animal looks stressed. Let's put it back. As time goes on, the animal can almost, if it can handle it, it could be out for hours, depending on what kind of animal it is. Like, my retic or my boa or retic or almost anything I have except this animal could just be out for hours and is not stressed out. Then when it's stressed, I put it back. So I don't want to do that to my animals. Uh, let's say I feed this snake. If I'm feeding her every seven days, everything's hypothetical. If I'm feeding her every seven days when she's a baby, or I might be feeding her more, but hypothetically, uh, she eats on a, if she ate on a Monday, then Monday, Tuesday, you can handle her Wednesday because you want to give them two days. So you don't want to be handling after you feed them. So those are two days that you won't be handling your animal. But that does mean that you can handle them five other days out of the week. So those are five days that you should, if you can, handle your animal. So do handle them as much as you can because that's going to make them acclimate and become more uh, confident with you and humans itself. And then also make them very positive experiences. So yeah, that's very important. Nothing, Not just to have them in general. Yeah, have they need to life. be very relaxed and stay calm for most of the session. If they start biting, you don't put them down, you don't put them away. They pee or poop on you, again, you don't put them down, you don't put them away. You do that, you just taught them, that gets them to go back. Yeah, people are like, oh no, it pooped on me, it peed on me, like... I gotta wash my hands! Or it hands. can musk on you, because anacondas can musk. Don't put them away, because then that will show them, hey, that gets me to go back. I don't want to be around. I'm scared. I'm just gonna poop, pee, or musk. And then... They get their way, and the only person that failed was you. So don't put them back. Just keep holding them. You can wash your fighting. hands afterwards. They bite the crap out of you. You're bleeding. Don't put them away. Wait for them to calm back down. Then you can put them away. And, I mean, being bit by a snake, unless it's venomous, really is not a big deal. I think we touched based on everything. We just need to figure out what to name her now. Yeah, we haven't had a name. I have ideas that we'll, I guess we'll tell you in our next video when we decide. Hi, cutie. In the next video, we'll have all of our techniques that we have on about three or four different techniques of how to tame a snake, 
as well as how to make them uh, very confident with you. Here, take her. She keeps zooming in the camera. I need to zoom it back out. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. There we go. Can I get on you? I just, I just want to get on the phone. It's warm and everything. Yeah, she's been climbing in this enclosure like crazy. Most anacondas are, um, they don't seem like they like to climb. I haven't really seen that too much, but this, I did not build this enclosure intended for this snake. That was a few snakes back. That up, this is basically like always my starter enclosure. And then once the baby snake is too big for it, I move them on to being my enclosures over there. Um, but yeah, she's been uh, she's been climbing on this shelf, on the upper shelf. Gets and on then, the cord. Yeah, it gets on the cord. And then we had to... Uh, she has all kinds of fun. Yeah. Um, yes, this is going to be a series. So, uh, if you want to keep continuing to see these, there are, there's at least going to be three more of these videos, at least, to see the progress of an anaconda. Or just a snake in general. If you've ever wondered what it looks like to tame a snake, it doesn't, you won't wake up one day and then bam, it's tame. There's steps and there's definitely progress in between, and it's, it's a really cool thing a lot of people don't understand. And I think it'd be really special to show. So yeah, if you like the video, uh, feel free to subscribe. There's, you know, there's going to be a series, and then there's going to be lots of other videos, because we also got uh, a new false water cover we haven't made any videos about. She has some really cool feeding videos that I need to release. You're going to absolutely love them. I think there might be tops for a false water cover feeding on YouTube, period. And I'm just saying that. I think it's really awesome. <laughs> but yeah, if you, uh, if you like the content, feel free to subscribe. If you have any comments, leave in the comment section below. I absolutely love talking to you guys. It, I do really enjoy our little reptile community. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, Go check us out there. I try to post on there daily. I try to make really good content. Um, yeah, that's it. Strike that.